today we will discuss about scoliodon it is a cartilaginous fish first of all we have to discuss about the common character of fish and the most important character is the stream line body this is the most important character of a fish then the second most important character is presence of fins for locomotion यानी कि इनमें गमन के लिए फ्रेंड्स पाए जाते हैं उपस्थित होते हैं उसके बाद तीसरा जो इम्पोर्टेंट कैरेक्टर फिश का होता है वो है प्रेजेंस ऑफ गिल्स गिल्स पाए जाते हैं यानी कि इनमें क्रोम पाए जाते हैं और इनका फंक्शन है फ्लशन दैट इज रेस्पिरेशन so this is a few important characters of a fish then we will discuss about the scolodon here but first uh, we have to discuss its classification Okay. The phylum is Chordata. Then the sub phylum is vertebrate. Okay. Next, the division Vinetro stomata. then super class this is which includes fishes then class chondrichthyes next subclass Salashi, then order squally for miss. So, this is the classification uh, of Scaliodon squally for miss. That means Bureau, Trimata. Finally, the genus and species which forms the scientific name of an organism that is Scoliodon. The species we will discuss that is Sora Kova. So, this is the species we have to discuss here. Then as we already said that is it is an a member of chondrichthyes uh, which has cartilaginous and a skeleton next after classification we will discuss about its 
distribution so uh, the escalodon is a marine animal and uh, the most important it is a, a marine animal and uh, the most important character of it is that it is a shark marine shark now uh, it is commonly known as black shark and next is about its habit and habitat habitat and habitat that means as we have already said that it is a marine animal and it is a carnivorous animal with predaceous habitat it feeds on crabs lobster worms and other fishes it is an unisexual animal and the fertilization is internal so the development is direct and it is a viviparous animal so this is all about its habit and habitat it is a marine animal and it is a carnivorous animal which is predaceous and feeds on uh, fishes and other worms a unisex one fertilization internal so the development is direct and the animal is viviparous next external features the external feature is that its body is laterally compressed body is laterally compressed and the body is divisible into three regions that is head trunk and tail so the body is divided divided into head trunk and tail but the neck is absent so this is the division of the body and the body is laterally compressed and the tail forming the posterior half of body is slightly bent upward so it is an hetero circle tail the tail is hetero circle next body is covered by placoid scales it is an important character presence of placoid scales the body cover on the dorsal surface is dark gray so it is dorsally dark gray but ventrally it is 
pal white which provide camouflage for protection dorsally dark gray and ventrally pale white next fins there are two set of fins one is paired and the other is unpaired or we can say it median first we will discuss about the median fins median fin median fin is there are two dorsal median fin one caudal fin and one ventral or anal fin so these are unpaired fins two dorsal fin one caudal fin that forms the tail and one ventral or anal fin and the tail we have already said that it is hetero circle tail it is slightly turned up then what about paired fins paired fins as we know that the paired fins are of two types that is pectoral fins and pelvic fins which is in pair pectoral fin one pair and the pelvic fin another pair pectoral fins are anteriorly located and pelvic fins are posteriorly located then uh, the structure of the animal looks like this that we are talking about the fins uh, the dorsal fin uh, first dorsal fin fin then second dorsal fin then a caudal fin uh, that forms the heterocircle tail on the posterior part of the body and then a pelvic fin sorry then a median anal fin these are the uh, median fins which are unpaired then the paired fins are pelvic fins and pectoral fins pelvic fins are posterior whereas then pectoral fins are anterior in position then uh, in male of scoliodon there is an additional structure that is known as clasper which is used in population uh, it is formed of median part of each pelvic fin so the median part of each pelvic fin forms a rod like structure that is known as clasper and it is an copulatory organ which helps in copulation then uh, the next, uh, next important unique structure is the eye in which vertical pupil is present this is an important character vertical pupil is present in the eye of scoliodon there are several pores present on the body of a scoliodon and the first that is mouth you can see on the anterior side the position of the mouth is ventral and uh, it is with teeth which is which are adapted for holding and tearing but not for tearing the teeth are adapted for holding and tearing but not for chewing so the ventral mouth is present which is in characteristics of chondrichthyes also then nares or nas nostril you can see on the anterior uh, side uh, nostrils are present and which are 
olfactory in function and they have no role in respiration nostrils have no role in respiration they are uh, only for olfactory purpose here and they are olfactory organs here not for respiration not involved in respiration for respiration there are external gill slits there are five pair of external gill slits one to five you can see and which helps in respiration <coughs> they lead internally into pharyngeal wall pharyngeal cavity through pharyngeal wall via gill pouches and respire and are respiratory in function so the uh, respiration is the function of gill slits then a cloacal aperture is also present on the posterior side of the body behind median anal or ventral fin in which opens an anus then a unique character of a scolidon is presence of caudal pits you can see on the posterior side at the base of the tail uh, caudal pits are present one called dorsal caudal pit and one ventral caudal pits which are characteristics of the genus scoliodon then there are numerous ampullae of laryngeae is also present in the body of scoliodon which uh, when pressed they exude the mucus so this is all about the external structure external morphology uh, habit habitat and classification distribution of scoliodon thank you